for a number of years, complementarianism has been articulated more as a backlash position than as a, just a genuine place that we find ourselves in the scriptures. And anytime you're stating a backlash position, it's usually done out of fear. And so one of the things that we wanted to do at the village when we started looking at this is ask, what if we decided not to be fearful around this and to just look to the text and ask some basic questions of it? Because I think sometimes the approach had just been, if there was a question of what a woman could or could not do, well, you know, just to be safe, guys, let's err on the side of caution. And when you do that, it means you only perceive danger to be to your left and moving further and further to the right is not a problem. But that's what ends up happening if you just err in one direction. So I think often we have just, because we have not wanted to take the time to evaluate, is this really what the scriptures say about this? We have leaned that direction, and it has led to, uh, even if we can say that our theology is pure in this, our practice is not actually demonstrating that we value the contributions of both men and women.